Okay, let's talk about cameras. These are a bunch of antique film cameras. Uh, none of them work, but there's a lot of design, a lot of engineering, and a lot of history that went into these cameras. There's so many different types of cameras. It's very ubiquitous now. Everybody has a camera in their pocket. They're incredibly high detailed. They have face tracking recognition, all sorts of amazing things. My first camera was probably this guy right here. It's my first like mobile phone that was smart. This is predating the iPhone. My first real camera was this guy. This is a Canon 7D Mark something. This is my first legit camera. It is awesome. I still use it to this day. I learned a lot about stuff with this camera. Aperture, f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, you name it. This became my essential tool in my career because I've done a lot of photography and video work. This guy is money. This guy costs a lot. I, have, I still have the same lenses and I've been using this one for many years. So with all the work I've done with cameras, I never imagined that I would design my own camera. This is my first camera design. It's a Raspberry Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi camera module. I just have this little like lens that you get for your mobile phones. Works really well. These are all of the components in my little camera here. A Raspberry Pi Zero, the 500 milliamp battery, the power boost, a switch, a button, an LED, and of course the Raspberry Pi camera module. This little guy is can take some pretty high res photos, pretty decent quality, and it's only about 20 bucks. The Raspberry Pi itself is just $5, which is pretty crazy. But everything fits nicely in the little 3D printed enclosure. It's just a uh, two-piece design and the little clip. You can also put a lanyard. There's so many configurations that you can do with this. This is just sort of one simple way to do it. But this is completely portal, port, portable. It has a 500 milliamp battery and it's incredibly small. I mean, look how small this thing is. It could be smaller, but the point is here that it has a Linux computer in it. Uh, the storage is unlimited. Whatever card you want to put, you can put as many cards as you want. It has HDMI out. It has USB peripheral capabilities. And it's wearable. I, I've made a little clip so I can clip it on my persons. And ideally this thing doesn't have a screen, right? No screen. But it's ideal for try, uh, it's ideal for security if you want to monitor something or if you want to wear it, you can have like a DIY narrative clip, which this can do really nice time lapses. 3D printing and DIY electronics kind of make this possible. So this little guy isn't going to replace my big massive tool here, the Canon 7D and also the 5D. It's not going to replace that and it's not going to replace my iPhone camera. That's really not the point. The point here is that you can do this. We're in the future. We have 3D printers. We have this free CAD software where we can actually do this. And this is just possible because of low cost DIY electronics and just all these sources that are available for us today. Never did I thought that I would be designing my own little camera and especially for people to build it. So that's really powerful. I hope you guys get inspired by this. This little guy is going to be a tutorial in a project video pretty soon. Big shout out to Phil B who wrote the time-lapse uh, software for the Raspberry Pi. And of course, big shout out to PT and Lamar. That's it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to share. So there you go. I'm going to go and uh, start the guide on this.